Hey guys, what's happening? So even though there are multiple streaming apps which have a pile of content on each of them, some of us just prefer watching content that is available offline on the phone storage itself. Now, if you are one of us, there are better ways to watch this sort of content than the default video player that is available on an Android phone. And well, you could use some of the other most commonly known Android video players, but those are mostly riddled with ads. And hence, to help you out, I made a list of some of the best available video players that you can access for free on the Play Store. These video players will not have any ads or just less intrusive ads. Well, what are we waiting for? This is Gorang, you're watching Guide in Tech. Let's get started. Starting off, we have Nova Video Player. Now, this is an open source video player, so all of the source code of this app is available for public access, and it has a very special feature. Now, whenever you look for a movie or a show on IMBD, you get its rating, you get a good looking poster, you get its synopsis, and you know, amongst other things. Nova Video Player basically looks at the name of the content that you have downloaded to your device and adds all of the things you might find about it when you search for it on IMBD. So it will add in a synopsis, a poster, the IMBD rating, and the names of all the actors and people involved in the production. So all of your content becomes easily separable with the exact poster as a thumbnail for it. Similarly, whenever you're watching content, as in when you tap the subtitle button, the player searches for the subtitle file for the content and adds it to the playback. This happens within a few seconds of tapping the subtitle button. The player also supports all of the common video and audio codecs. The on-screen playback controls are easy to use and understand. Plus, the player will also remember your progress while watching a movie or a show so that you can continue off the point you left the last time. And finally, also get support for playing content off an FTP server, a NAS, cloud storage, or external USB drive. And on top of all of this, there are no ads found anywhere. Moving on, we have Oplayer Lite. Now, this particular player is all about control, a bunch of features, and providing you the support of every possible codec that you might come across. It supports MKV, WMV, AVI, DRVX, XWID, FLV, MP4, MOV, M4V, Blu-ray, and many, many more, along with a whole set of audio codecs as well. It automatically sets up a library of audio and video files that can be found on any device. While playing content, the controls on offer are many. You can take quick screenshots or screen recordings. You can play a particular part of the movie or show on a loop. You also get free control of the playback speed, and you can also cast the content to your TV via Chromecast. You can also go the other way around by playing content off your personal server. All of these features do come with a caveat though, as you will see some ads in the app. However, they're not that intrusive. Now next up is KMP. And this one is all about providing you ease of life while watching content by providing a bunch of really useful features. KMP, as soon as you open it, sets up the library for all the content available on your device on a single page. Once you start playing content, you get simple gesture-based controls. Tapping the three-dot icon on the top right corner, you get access to all of the special controls. You can set bookmarks at precise points. You can mirror the content or flip it vertically. You can adjust the colors of the playback. Apart from selecting the audio track, you can adjust it with an equalizer or adjust the sync if you feel the need for it. You can fully control the subtitles as well. You can download the subtitle track, adjust sync, adjust the size and scale, or change the color of the subtitles as well. You can cast content through Chromecast, watch content in picture-in-picture -picture mode while working on other stuff on your phone as well. And you get all of these great features without getting any ads anywhere. Next up, we have Media Player Classic, which is another one of the very useful, easy, yet very controllable media players for your Android phone. And it again automatically scans through your files to set up tabbed libraries for your video and audio files on your device. You can also add a URL to screen content from the internet. You can browse through the folders on the device directly through the app. While watching your movies or shows, you get all of the basic swipe controls. You also get double tap to pause or play, along with double tapping on the right or left side of the screen to go 10 seconds ahead or 10 seconds back. Tapping the three dot icon, you get additional controls like jumping to specific timestamps, enabling a sleep timer, messing with the audio through an EQ, or enabling video information which will provide you with all of the metadata and live bitrate of the content being played. You also get the option of watching picture in picture mode. And again, all of these handy features come without any ads anywhere. Next up, we have MPV Android, which is an open source and cross-platform video player. It is a to-the-point, no-nonsense video player, which offers some great features as well. MPV is basic and bare bones in terms of UI. As soon as you open the app, you select the source of playback, which can be from the phone's own file manager, a 
URL or a file picked by the player's file picker. When you select settings, that is where you find the best features of the app. You can upscale or downscale content through multiple algorithms available on the app and even make the content smoother through interpolation. You can also switch between software or hardware decoding. The player also gets the swipe gesture control. These controls can easily be altered in the settings as well, along with making small changes to the player UI itself. And again, you see the pattern here. You don't see any ads on this player at all. And talking about basic, here is something extremely basic and to the point. This one is called Just Play, and it just plays your content. Once you open the app, it opens straight from the playback UI. You will see a folder icon along with the playback controls. Tapping on it, you select the file you want to playback and it will start playing. You get all of your simple swipe controls along with controls for playback speed and locking the touchscreen. Apart from this, the player supports major video codecs along with support for HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision enabled content playback, given that the device you're using supports it. And finally, this one also does not come with any ads in the UI. And that's pretty much it. The download links to all of these apps can be found in the description box. And if you like the video, like it. If you love the video, then press the subscribe button. And beside that, you find a bell icon. Press that, you'll get notifications for all our videos from now on. This has been Gorang, and I'll see you in the next one.